wanted to go over not a full day of eating but I guess it is a full day of eating because I'm having a refeed this is day two of a refeed um, I usually only do like maybe one but this is going to be just two days because I've been pretty consistent with my macros and I've dropped a decent amount of body fat within the past two months and I have not given myself anything so I am increasing my calories to about 1800 and this is what I'm having for breakfast I forgot to record yesterday but it was like I, I pretty much eat just normal um, I don't really change much I just increase it you know you get an extra meal or so so this is what I'm having I made a pancake and I put some blueberries on top and I kind of steamed them I added some olden farm syrup to it to make it a little bit more like a regular blueberry syrup and put it on top and then I am having a flat out wrap uh, or a flatbread wrap and I put scrambled eggs and some cheese inside of there and some sugar free ketchup and my syrup is just Walden Farms on top of my pancake. I, I'm trying to still be consistent with everything. This doesn't give me the opportunity to binge eat, to cheat meal, to anything. It's just an increase in calories and I can have a little bit more flexibility with what I am having because I have that like higher carbs and stuff. So I'm also having coffee with my sugar-free creamer in it and Walden Farms syrup. I'm like obsessed with it and I use it more of as a sweetener, like a tablespoon of it. It's not like I'm dumping half the bottle in guys um, because it is a syrup. It's still very sweet. Um, but yeah that, like everything's pretty much staying the same there's that there's that diet brain guys all right so i will talk to you guys in a little while um and let you know what i am bringing to work for lunch and possibly a snack and if i have anything at work i'll let you guys know hey guys Bye. so i completely forgot to record my full day of eating i was at work and this morning, whenever I was recording my breakfast for you guys, which was really good, by the way, awesome job with the blueberries. I basically, I told you guys how I made them this morning, so I'm not going to explain that again. Definitely try it. It was awesome. Um, anyway, I was, like, rushing this morning, and I thought it was going to be late to work, and I wasn't. I, like, made it, like, right on time. It was horrible. But um, I just forgot to record everything, so happens anyway at work I pretty much just kept my food consistent like I usually eat um, I had my salad and I made a wrap to go with my salad usually I just have like my turkey and everything on top of it but I was like I'll just do a wrap today high calorie so I just had some deli turkey some provolone cheese and my salad some bell peppers dipped it in some Walden Farms dressing it was really good. Y'all should try their products. Just saying, they're really awesome. Walden Farms should just sponsor me. Just saying. Anyway, um, I did snack a little bit at work. Like, I brought my own snacks. I had some cottage cheese. I had some strawberries um, with it. And I did bring Greek yogurt, but I didn't eat it because I was just really full. And I think it's because, like, I was full for my breakfast still, which was weird because usually I'm starving. And I think it's just like the higher calorie and my body was like, whoa. So that's probably it. I don't know. I'm still not really hungry, but I'm drinking a smoothie. Um, it's 60 grams of banana. I think it's like 60 grams of strawberries. Um, that's just what I had. So that's what it measured out to be. I wasn't really trying to measure anything. I did measure the Greek yogurt. I put two ounces in here and I put three ounces of cashew milk just because they're the liquid parts, kind of, and I didn't want it too liquidy. Um, so I'm just drinking that to hold me over until I figure out what I want for dinner. I'm thinking about a burger, not really sure where I'm getting a burger yet. I should have saved like calories for five guys or something, but I don't really want to save like 800 calories for a five guys burger. It's really not worth it to me and I don't like fast food so we'll see maybe I'll just run to shop right and grab some stuff and make my own burger 
or maybe I'll just run to Wendy's and see if I find something. But it's not really feeling like, like it's not it doesn't seem appetizing to me whenever I go to a fast food place because all I smell is grease and salt, and it's just like, why am I here? Um, like I used to eat it a lot, and then I cut it out for a couple years, and now once in a while, I can probably count on one hand how many times I eat fast food in a year. Um, but at work I did snack a little bit. I snacked on some wheat thins. I ended up making brownie with somebody, so I had probably about like two ounces of brownie. Not because I didn't want to eat it, just because I cut a small piece and I put like whipped cream on it and stuff. Um, I don't know what else I had, guys. Like, I just snacked tortilla chips. I think that's it. I'm a boring person when it comes to high calorie day. <laughs> It's like they have so many options, I just can't decide on anything, so I'm just like, I'm just going to eat Wheat Thins, guys. Wheat Thins. <laughs> Alright, so anyway, I will let you guys know what I end up having. And la 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 la, I can speak words. I will let you guys know what I end up having for dinner, where I get my burger from, let you know how it is, and yeah, we will, we'll see. You guys, so I decided not to get the burger. Um... It just wasn't appealing to me anymore. I don't know. I was like over it. So I actually ran out to shop right instead and I got a surprise for later that I will show you guys that I'm going to have. Really excited about it. But for dinner, this is what I'm having. It is sauteed baby spinach, zucchini, and mushrooms with chicken. And I put a little bit of mozzarella cheese on top. Um, and I seasoned it with just garlic powder, onion powder, and... I don't remember the seasoning I put on my chicken. It's like a, she's a combination, I don't know. But anyway, I will show you guys what I'm having tonight whenever this is all gone. Welcome back. So, um, sorry I am in my pajamas, but it is like nine o'clock at night. Um, I was just gonna show you what I was having tonight. So pretty much I'm just having some Halo Top. Um, the oatmeal cookie and the birthday cake are literally the same macros. And I'm running low on the oatmeal cookie. So instead of recalculating everything, I'm just going to do that. Um, I am going to have some cashew milk because I am eating some of these. I am so excited. This is all I want. Like I don't want the Halo Top tonight. I literally just want this. But I'm going to have some Halo Top because it's like my nightly routine. It's a bad habit that I started, but I mean, it's not so bad. It could be worse. There's a lot worse things that I could be eating at night. So yeah, anyway, um, I will probably put like a little thumbnail picture of this last meal so you guys know what it looks like and you know what I put on top of it because I don't remember what I put in my Thinnest Pal that's going on top other than like sh chocolate syrup and some whipped cream. I don't know. We'll see. Hey, bye guys. Bye bye.